Hello friends, my name is Wasim and I welcome you all to this channel Smart Study. So friends, today I am going to discuss few important simplification questions which were asked in SPA Clerk Prelims Examination on 23rd June 2018. So friends, these are the memory based questions which I wanted to discuss with you which I have taken from Ada247's website. So friends, try to practice more amount of questions of this kind so that you can do it in, uh, in the actual preliminary examination in the upcoming days. So friends, when you come across the question, try to solve the questions by yourself, then continue watching the video. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead. So as you can see, the first question here is root of 16 into 15 plus 24 into 12 plus 97 is equal to what? So what we have to do here is we have to simplify the values which are given within the root. So let's try to do it. So firstly, we have to concentrate on multiplication, then addition. So 16 into 15. So 15 into 15 is 225 because we have taken 15 only 15 times we have to take one more time. So therefore 225 plus 15 would be 240. So plus so 24 into 12. So 12 into 4 is 48. 8 would be here. 4 is carried forward. 12 into 2 is 24. 24 plus 4 would be 28 plus 97 is equal to x. So x is equal to root of, let us add all these values. So 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 plus 0 would be 15 itself, 5 would be here, 1 is carried forward. So 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 4. So 18 plus 4 would be 22, 2 would be here, 2 is carried forward. So 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 would be 6. This is equal to root of 625. We know root of 625 is equal to 25. So the answer for this question should be 25. I hope you understood. Let's go for the next question here. So 28% of 420 plus 36% of 540 is equal to what? So 28% can be taken as so 30 minus 2%. So it is quite it is easy to calculate if it is in this way. And 36% can be taken as 40 minus 4%. So, see here friends, 42, 420, so the 10% of 420 would be equal to how much? 42. So, we have to take 30% first. So, 42 into 3, so 3 into 4 is 12, that is 3 into 40 would be 120, 3 into 2 would be 6. So, 120 plus 6 would be 126. So, we have taken 2 times extra here, we need to take it back. So, therefore, 1% 1, 1 of 420 would be 4.2. So 2% of 420 would be 8.4. So we need to take it back. So 8.4 has to be taken out. So therefore this is 6. So 15 minus 8 would be 7. This is 11. So the sum of this value would be equal to 117.6 plus 36% of 540. So as I have told you, firstly we are going to take 40% here. So 40% means what? So 10% of 540 would be equal to 54. So therefore 40% would be 4 times of it. So therefore 4 into 5 is 20. So 4 into 50 would be 200. So 200 plus 4 into 4 is 16. So therefore 200 plus 16 would be 216. So 216 is 40%. So we need to take 4% x. We, because we have taken 4% extra, we need to take it back. So therefore, if 40% is 216, 4% would be 21.6. So therefore, 10 minus 6 would be 4. So 5 minus 1 would be 4. And again, so 20 minus, sorry, 5 minus 1 would be 4. 21 minus 2 would be 19. This is equal to 194.4 is equal to x. So x is equal to 6 plus 4 would be 10, 0 would be here, 1 is carried forward, 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 4 would be 8 plus 4 would be 12, 2 would be here, 1 is carried forward, 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, 1 would be here, 1 is carried forward, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So the answer for this question should be 312. I hope you understood. Let's go for the next question here. So 75% of 450 plus 25% of 850 is equal to what? So see here friends, this 75 and this 
are the multiples of 25. So therefore, we can take this percentage and 25 as com common. So 25% can be taken as common here. So therefore, 75%, this goes by 3 times. So 3 of 450 plus, so 25% we have already taken as common. So this is equal to 1. 1 per 1 percent of 850 is nothing but 1 into 850. So we can directly take this as 850 is equal to x. So this is 1 time, this is 4 times. So x is equal to 1 divided by 4 of, so see here friends, 3 into 450. 3 into 400 is 1200. 3 into 50 would be 150. So 1200 plus 50, 1350 plus 850 is equal to x which I have already written here. So x is equal to 1 by 4 of so 1350 plus 850 is equal to 1400 plus 800 that is 2200. Let us cancel out by 4 tables. So for 1 time, for 5 times it is 20, 2 is carried forward. Again for 5 times it is 20 and 0. So therefore the answer for this question would be 550. I hope you understood. Let's go for the next question here. So 7396 plus root root of 7396 plus root of question mark is equal to 104. So see here friends, it is 7396. Because the unit digit here is 6, so the unit digit of the value should be ending with either 6 or 4. I can surely say that it has to be ending with 6 or 4. So if you are going to consider the remaining two digits, so the previous value which is close to a perfect square is 8, 8 square that is 64. So the next digit is 81 that is 9 square. So therefore we have to consider the previous one. So therefore here we have to consider 8 and 8. So it is 86 and it is 84. So we are not sure whether it is 86 or 84. So what we have to do, we need to find out 85 square. So finding out a number, a square value of a number which ends with 5 is quite easy. So 8 into 9 is 72, so 25. So 72, 25 is less than 7396. So therefore, I can surely say that the answer here should be 86. The value is 86. So plus root of x is equal to 104. So if you are going to transfer this 86 to the other side, so this becomes minus 86. So minus 86. So root of x is equal to 14 minus 6 would be 8. So 9 minus 1, 8 would be 1. So root of 18. So root of x, if you are going to transfer this 1 by 2 power to the other side, this goes to the, the reciprocal of this value has to be taken. That is 2 by 1. So 18 square. So x is equal to 324 should be the answer. So this is the answer for this question. I hope you understood. So let's check out the next question here. So root of 441 minus root of 144 is equal to question mark. So this will take you no time to solve this. Why? Because we know root of 441 is equal to 21 minus root of 144 is equal to 12 is equal to root x. So root x is equal to 21 minus 12 would be equal to 9. So x is equal to, so if you are going to transfer this power, this is like 1 by 2. So, this root is nothing but x to the power 1 by 2. If you are going to transfer this power to the other side, the reciprocal of 1 by 2 has to be taken. That is 2 by 1. That is nothing but x is, x is equal to 9 square. Therefore, x is equal to 81 should be the answer. I hope you understood. So, the next question here is 18 2 by 3 minus 7 1 by 4 is equal to question mark plus 1 by 1. 1 by 2. So if you are going to transfer this portion to this side, this becomes minus 1, 1 by 2. So therefore, let me write the equation once again. 18, 2 by 3 minus 7, 1 by 4 minus 1, 1 by 2 is equal to x. So x is equal to, so see here friends. So firstly, we are going, it is 18, 2 by 3 is nothing but 18 plus 2 by 3. So this 7, 1 by 4 is nothing but 7 plus 1 by 4. So therefore, firstly, let us concentrate only on the whole numbers. So therefore, 18 minus 7 is 11. 11 minus 1 would be equal to 10. So 10 plus, so the left out values are, the fractions would be 2 by 3 minus, so because the symbol is minus here, 
we have to subtract it. So therefore, minus 1 by 4, again minus 1 by 2. So x is equal to 10 plus. So if you are going to take out the LCM, 3, 4, 2, the LCM would be 12. So 12 by 3 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8 minus. So 12 by 4 is 3, 3 into 1 is 3 minus. So 12 by 2 is 6, 6 into 1 is 6. So x is equal to 10 plus. So 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 minus 6 is minus 1 divided by 2. So x is equal to, we can take the LCM as 12 here, 12. So 12 divided by 1 is 12, 12 into 10 is 120 minus 1. So that is equal to, so 119 by 12 should be your answer. Otherwise you can express, in, express it in mixed fraction. So 12 into 9 times is 108. So the remaining is 11 by 12. So the answer for this question should be either 11, 119 by 12 or 911 by 12. I hope you understood. So the next question here is root of 484 into root of 169 is equal to question mark plus 50% of 312. So see here friends. So 484, we know it is 22. So root of 484 is 22 square. 484 is equal to 22 square into 169 is 13 square. So therefore we have to take only 13 here. So therefore 13 is equal to so x plus 50 percent is nothing but 50 by 100. So this is one time this is two times. So therefore 50 percent is nothing but 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 of 312. So 1 by 2 of 312 means what? 3 by 12, 312 divided by 2. So therefore so if you are going to cancel it so 3 I mean one time so 1 is carried forward 5 times it is 10. So again 1 is carried forward this is 6. So 12 into sorry 22 into 13. So let us take this 13 as 10 plus 3. So therefore 22 into 10 would be 220. So 22 into 3 would be 66. So therefore 6, 8, 2. So 286 should be the value. So 286. So if you are going to transfer this plus 156 to the other side, this becomes minus 156 is equal to x. So x is equal to 6 minus 6 would be 0. So 8 minus 5 would be 3. So 2 minus 1 would be 1. So the answer here should be 130. I hope you understood. Let's go for the next question here. So 15 square plus 36 square is equal to question mark into cube root of 2197. So 15 square we know it is 225. So 36 square it is 1296. Let's take it out. 36 into 36. 6 into 6 is 36. 3 would be the carry forward. So 3 into 6 is 18. 18 into 18. 18 into 2 times is 36. So 36 plus 3 is 39. 9 would be here. 3 is carried forward. 3 3 is 9. So 9 plus 3 is 12. 1296. So this is equal to 1296 is equal to x into. So see here friends. Cube root of 2197, we already know it is equal to 13. So if you are going to add these two values, let us consider this as 1300. So 1300 plus 225 is 1525. Because we have taken one four extra, we have to take it back. So 1521, 1521. So if you are going to transfer this 13 to the other side, this goes to the denominator is equal to x. So 13 one time, 13 one time, it is 21 is there. So again 13 one time. So 9 is left out. So 91 is left out. So therefore 7 times. So x is equal to 117 should be the answer. I hope you understood. So friends, these are the questions which I wanted to discuss with you. So I have uploaded one of the videos. So uh, in which uh, I have mentioned, the, mentioned some of the different questions that uh, the, those were the memory based questions I have mentioned it so but I have taken those questions from ibpsguide.com but some people told me that these are these those were the those were not the questions which were actually asked in the examination that is why I have made this video once again so all the best for those who are about to appear in the actual I mean appear in the SBA clerk exam in the upcoming days thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead 
so before ending up this session i request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment box thank you so much